Hello Matrix, and welcome to the sixth video on statistics, brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video, we will look at the least squares regression line and the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient measures the strength of the relationship between two sets of numbers. A correlation coefficient of minus 1 is a perfect negative correlation. 0 means there is no linear correlation, and an R value of 1 means it is a perfect positive correlation. Between 0 and 1, it's a positive correlation, and between 0 and minus 1, it's a negative correlation. The closer you get to 1, the stronger the correlation is. So from 0,1 to 0,3, we talk about a weak correlation. From 0,4 to 0,6, medium. And from 0,7 to 0,9, strong. And exactly the same on the negative side. So when they ask you to comment on the correlation coefficient, you need to comment on the strength, so weak, medium or strong, as well as whether it is negative or positive. To get the correlation coefficient on your calculator, if you have a Casio calculator, it's mode 2 and then 2. Enter the x and y values followed by equal signs each time and press AC to seal the data in. You then press Shift Stat, which is above the 1, then 5, and then to get your R value, you press 3, and then equals. Example number 1. I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this yourself, and then we'll do it together. The first question asks you to represent the information in a scatter plot. So we need to plot the following coordinates. 9, 1,100 is there. 14, 1,300 is there, etc, etc. So plot all of those points on the scatter plot. They then say to you, the equation of the least squares regression line is given by that. And they say to you, an item in the restaurant contains 18 grams of fat. Calculate to the nearest 100 kilojoules the number of kilojoules of energy that this item will provide. So I use the equation of the least squares regression line they've given me, and in place of x, I put 18. And I get my y value. Now they asked me to the nearest 100 kilojoules, so I need to round that off. 1.2.2 says draw the least squares regression line on the scatter plot. Now, the least squares regression line is a straight line. There's your y-intercept, so I can plot my y-intercept. I know when x is 18, I get a y-value of 1542,94. So when x is 18, I plot that point. So I've got the y-intercept... I've got the point I've just worked out, so I can draw the equation of the line. 1.3 asks me to identify an outlier in the data set. So you've drawn the equation of the line, so you've got to look for a point that is far away from the line. And the point that is the furthest away from the line is that point. So it's the coordinate 8, 300. 1.4 asks you to calculate the value of the correlation coefficient. Use your calculator with the steps we showed previously, and there's your correlation coefficient. 1.5 asks you to comment on the strength of the relationship. So if you look at a value of 0,95, and remember the number line that we had earlier, it is a very strong positive relationship. Example number two. I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this one, and then we will do it together. They ask you to use the scatter plot to comment on the strength of the relationship. Well, if you have a look, if you were to draw a line of best fit, it would look something like that. 
How close are the points to the line? They're very close to the line, which means the relationship is very strong, negative, because the gradient of that line is a negative gradient. 2.2, they ask you to calculate the correlation coefficient. Use the data, enter it into your calculator, and you get an R value of minus 0.95. 2.3, they ask you to calculate the equation of the least squares regression line. Now, you've already got your data in the calculator from the correlation coefficient. So, get your value of A, get your value of B, and write it as in the form Y equals A plus BX. 2.4 says use your answer to estimate the average number of times that a shopper living six kilometers from the supermarket will visit the store in a week. So I use the equation I've worked out and in place of x I put six and I get a y value of 4,99. In other words they will visit the supermarket five times in the week. 2.5 asks you to sketch the least squares regression line. My y-intercept is 11,71. So I've got that point. I know when x is 6, y is 5. So when x is 6, y is 5, I've got that point and I've got the y-intercept. So there's the equation of my least squares regression line. You should now understand these concepts. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.